Good morning to investors in Asia. Good night to investors in Europe and Africa. I'm Daniel Yu speaking from Hong Kong. It's 24th July here and 23rd in Wall Street. This week, I have three main points to talk about. Number one, psychological deadlock of investors. Number two, reverse trading of the market. Number three, recovery of banking stocks. And of course, finally, there will be some stock recommendations. Subscribe, like, and share. Remember to click the bell, please. Watch our playlist again so as to grasp the continuous trend of the market and refresh your mind. The greatest problem of investors is facing this long and slow bull market in a steady way. The market keeps on rising, so it attracts a lot of people to buy. And when new capital enters the market, it keeps on rising. However, normally people wish to buy at low. When they are attracted to invest in the US stock market, they also realize the market has been rising for quite a long time and should be cheap soon. Therefore, it's reasonable to wait for the adjustment so as to lower the cost and buy at a cheaper level. As waiting continues, the price has not gone down, but is still continuing to go up. So investors lost their patience and regret they had missed so many chances. If they continue to wait, they may miss more chances. And when price keeps on going up and buy later, the price will be even more expensive than now. So there will be a point they cannot pay anymore and at once enter into the market. Even prices are rocketing up. Unfortunately, after purchasing is started to fall, they just complain that their luck is so bad. Every time after purchasing, the price goes down and after selling, it goes up. It's a psychological deadlock of investors. So let's take a look at the chart of Dow Jones. This is a 20-year chart of Dow Jones. The chance of buying at topmost is just once, which is on January the 5th, 2022, and selling at lowest point is on March 6, 2009. So it happens once in every 20 years. For each side, it's still very hard for you to hit it. What you can hit is just a midway top or low. Don't complain that after you sell, it goes up at once. It is always like that, for it's very hard for you to sell at the topmost, for it only happens once every 20 years. So no matter it's a large wave or small wave, after you sell, it really goes up. Either today or tomorrow, either this week or next week, you cannot skip it off. It's the same vice versa. When you buy, it really goes down. The only way to avoid this is to use the 250 SMA. From this long-term chart, you can see it is a firm support. When the price drops near the line, it is really the time to buy. In the past 20 years, it has only been two or three times underneath it, but soon goes up. So it is still worthwhile to wait even if trapped. Facing the ups and downs of the market, we must have a sound psychological state and feasible method of trading. This is a typical and practical way to solve the deadlock of when buying the price drops, selling the price goes up. Secondly, we will talk about the potential reverse trading of the market. That is, buy on bad news, sell on good news. Market has been speculating when wake up comes. The fact is that high interest rates are harmful to the economy and market as well. The wait time cycle starts on March 16th, 2022, but it is not a certain case. Investors know it beforehand and already act according to the economic situations. They would not stay aside and take no action until wait height comes. Nasdaq is the leader of the market and which talked on November 22nd, 2021, S&P which talked on January 4th, and the Dow Jones, January 5th, 2022. That's why people always say the stock market is one ahead of the, the economy. However, when will the interest rate reach the climax? It has been talked about for a long time. From the Orion material shower of October 2022 to the winter triangle of December 2022, Nasdaq formed a complex W shape, which is a triple button. In expectation rate high cycle will end in the second half of 2023. So no matter if there's one or two weight highs in the second half of 2023, it will be reflected in the winter of 2022 and not now. That means the market has already reached bottom nearly one year ahead of it. And when the wake up comes, it is time of adjustment for the market has risen a lot. There are two probabilities of ending the rate high cycle. One chance is the FOMC meeting 
on coming Wednesday if Jeremy Powell announces there will not be any rate high the market will shoot up at once but people will afraid after shooting up adjustment will come soon after and if Powell does not make it clear this time either the next or the following meeting must have a chance to say no need for another rate hike the market will also work it up when all good news has come up there will be no more good news and thus the market will have to repeat so this is what the old saying of the market say to buy on bad news to sell on good news before stock recommendations please study my series of 14 teaching videos they are equipped with certain tests philosophical homework to think about, the scope covers technical analysis, economical analysis and international happenings with live examples concerning every sector of the US stock market. In the last video, I said that the banking and finance stocks would have been talked about this week and it really rose up on Thursday and Friday. Let's take a look at the 7 day heat map chart of S&P and can see the magnificent 7 is not so strong as all that. 6 of them are in red which are Meta, Microsoft, Google, MEDA, Amazon and Tesla. Only Apple is in green, showing the glorious hours might have already passed away and now it's time to change course. Rate high cycle basically brings more profit to banking stocks but the banking crisis is also a great shock. After that, the supervision system is improved and gains back the confidence of investors. For worries of recession, normally it will come 12 to 24 months after rate high cycle starts. However, the definition of recession is that GBT is in negative growth for two consecutive quarters. Now, 58% of economists believe recession will come but the unemployment rate is still at the best level since 1960 like the landing of the moon. The latest unemployment rate in the US is 3.6%. The landing of the moon is in July 1969. It is the greatest project in the US ever had and the unemployment rate in July is 3.5%. And for the second half of 1969, it's going up and down from 3.5% to 3.7%. Henceforward, we have never seen such a low unemployment rate until this great high cycle. So even if recession comes, it would not be too deep. When enterprise can earn money, they would deposit into the bank and thus make the banking industry at a boom. So let's look at the major stocks one by one. In the following charts, the candlesticks represent the stocks and the line chart is the Dow Jones and we can have a comparison and can see these stocks are generally running ahead of the market. JP Morgan goes straight upward with the 250 SMA curving up. Bank of America is for conservative buyers for even it is weaker than Dow Jones but now it's going to break the gear line. So those that wish to buy sluggish stocks do not forget this for it has risen for 9.65% in the past 7 days. However, according to this chart of evaluation, BAC, WFC, C and JP Morgan are among the best four. Citigroup is going to break the year line, which should buy now before it is too late. USB after the crisis, it has great reformation and it can be seen it is recovering from the woods. CME is the one that no one should neglect for it is hot for the CME target probabilities recently and has shoot up about the 250 SMA while BLKB is stronger than the market. So aggressive buyers can buy those stronger than the market and conservative buyers can buy sluggish stocks. Finally, don't forget my three favorite evergreen stocks. Pepsi is now one of the top 10 of Nasdaq stocks. Any rise and fall would affect Nasdaq and the whole market as well. KO is above the 250 MA. McDonald is stronger than the market even though it is not an IT stock. Now let's have a look at the CMD target rate. The chance of raising interest rate for 25 base points in Wednesday FOMC meeting is 99.2%, an incredibly high rate. So, but focus is still on his press conference after that, whether he will release Dovish or Hawkins outlook. As for Microsoft and Google, even though they have missed our announcement on Tuesday, it's no use for the effect will be eliminated by Jeremy Powell. So, how about next week? What will I talk about? It will be concerning traveling stocks and readers can also have a preliminary study first. And if good news comes this Wednesday of no more rate hike, be sure to keep calm and carry on. Reverse trading may come at any time, even though not just the next minute. So again, subscribe, share and like please. Sayonara, Afrinasi, Adu, bye bye, see you next week.